the vlogs are back. <laughs> what, do, what do I do with my hands? I don't know. Yeah, no. It's been so long since we've vlogged. I don't <laughs> know. And usually we're up front and you're holding the camera. So <laughs> this is new. This is... <laughs> Actually, oh. it's almost the end of Monday it now. Is the end of Monday. We got us our first load lined up. We pick it up tomorrow, which. We'll talk about tomorrow once we get it on the truck. Once but it's loaded. We deadheaded down to San Antonio. Yep. Checked out of the lake. We went to um, Ma, yeah, checked out of the lake, went to Mama Crafty's, uh, <laughs> washed the dogs. Yep, they got baths today. They're nice and soft and clean. <laughs> Did our laundry. Laundry. Um, <sighs> I cleaned out one of my camera drawers, or I had a backpack full of camera yeah, stuff. Yeah, this that one, we need to put that I cleaned somewhere. all the stuff out of it and got it in one of my cabinets that I keep all my camera stuff in, so. Yeah. Yeah. Man, it's been a busy month. It has been. We were, we were talking on the way down here, and it's been um, a, a month and a half since we did our last load. It's like 45 days <laughs> since we had a load. <laughs> Yeah. Oh my gosh. We're going to do a video just about the month process it took us from going from our old truck to this truck and Selling why it took so truck, long. Getting this truck, getting set up with Landstar. Yeah. It was a process. It was a process. It was a process just like having the truck built. I mean, gosh. It like, was, yeah. Yeah, this, this whole process has been... And it's funny, we haven't worked since December... But we've been working like almost nonstop. <laughs> Let's rephrase that. We haven't done any loads yeah. since the yeah. end of did what December first of January. Yeah. But yeah. we've been working our butts off with getting this truck moving into the new truck, getting it switched over with Landstar, yeah. selling our old truck. Getting yeah. yeah, it's been a process, but. We'll talk all about that in a separate video, but oh my gosh, I'm so excited to do our first load. Yeah, yeah, I am too. <laughs> it's a decent one. Yeah. Puts us in a good area, so and we've already got calls out to the agent that does the area we're going, so. Yeah. Yeah, we'll see what happens. Fingers crossed. We Fingers got, crossed. We, we get a nice double long one. <laughs> I know, I know. We're, I'm, we're really curious to see how things are going to work out with the split box now, and we are. yeah, it's it'll be curious to see. Yeah, but yeah, we're both tired. It's been a long time coming. I'm ready to get back running because I know I, I, we get more relaxation <laughs> when we're actually running freight. Uh, we do. Yeah, yeah. When we're not running freight and we're at home or we're doing stuff, it's oh gosh, we it's draining on you it is so we're excited to get back to back to the routine back to our routine of traveling the country and... yeah i'm i'm having yeah withdrawals from traveling i think yeah. from yeah. seeing the country yeah i am too it's been uh yeah a long time but we wanted to at least jump on get these vlogs back started thank you guys you know it's been it's been a journey for this last month and thanks for sticking around sticking it out with us yeah, and man. yeah we're excited to to see what happens with the new truck and a new adventure, really, for us. A whole new adventure. It is. Scary, too. <laughs> Scary, but good. Because we're, you know, we're just trying something different, and it, it can either burn us or... Yeah. You know, sometimes you have to make that, that uh, jump and... See what happens. Take a leap of faith, right? Take a leap, Take a leap of faith. <laughs> but yeah, we will get y'all caught up tomorrow once we get this load on our truck, let you know where we're going, and go from there. Sounds good. Well, happy Tuesday. Happy Tuesday. We are loaded and on our way. You want to tell them about the load? Yeah. So we picked up here in Texas and we're heading to Georgia. A little over a thousand miles. One piece at a whopping 310 pounds. Whoa. Putting that double axle to use. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, putting that double axle to use. <laughs> we picked up this morning and uh, we're stopped now doing our driver swap at a Love's off the I-10. It's been a while since we've been on this stretch of the I-10. Yeah, it's been a while. It is. It is. Yeah, it's all rainy and gloomy out. It is, and cold. And cold. And windy. And windy. Yeah. 
but I'm excited. I finally get to drive this beast. Yeah, it's her first time getting to drive this yeah. truck. I drove it six uh, miles. Yeah, when we were heading back down from Ohio yeah, to Mem Memphis. Yeah, six miles. <laughs> and I drove it a whopping six miles. Yeah, so I'm gonna have to kind of give her the lowdown on everything, kind of, you yeah. know. Yeah. Show her how to use the cruise control. Pretty easy stuff. But it's all easy. It's just all in a different place from what our M2 was. Yeah, it's so all different. It's all different. Just getting used to where all the controllers are and stuff. I, I can't wait to try the bed while we're rolling down the road. I know. I know. We were talking about that earlier, right? Yeah, about yeah. how that's wondering how that's going to be. But yeah, yeah. I think it's going to be comfy. I mean, it's got more air ride on the sleeper course it's longer and heavier than the old truck so it'll be really interesting to see how it how it does on the road uh, a lot from this is our first time ever driving a double axle truck so yeah. and we've heard from a lot of uh, tractor trailer guys uh, and people who drove tractor trailer before that the heavier the load the smoother the truck rides because the suspension is built to be able to handle that heavy stuff. So when it, you don't have it fully loaded, it's quite bouncy, so. It's kind of like how our Super Duty is, because that suspension is made to haul heavy stuff. Yeah, yeah. And without it being loaded with anything, it's a pretty t it's a pretty stiff ride in it's that. It's a rough in ride. In that 450 <laughs> When we're going to get groceries in that thing, it's a rough ride. It yeah, is, yeah. yeah. But, so. oh my gosh, yeah, I'm excited. We deliver this tomorrow morning. See what happens after that. We've, Almost had a load going to Washington. Yeah, somebody beat somebody us to beat it. Us to we it. were in loading and it came across and by the time we got out and called somebody already somebody got it. Somebody beat us to it, so. But we've got some other calls into the agents out that area where we're going and that do stuff out there, so. We'll see. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see what happens. Yeah, and yeah. I'm excited to get rolling though. Yeah. Making some money. I am too. <laughs> I'm ready to get going. Yeah. We just let the babies out. Y'all already had your treats. Don't be whining for some more. <laughs> I'm getting my coffee made and coffee, I'm going to jump Bulletproof, out. bulletproof coffee. Yep, yeah. bulletproof. Trying to get back on my low carb. We've been slacking all this last month. Yeah, but... we've been eating out a lot while we're at home. That's the one thing I hate is when we're not out running and we're at home, we tend to eat a little worse. Yeah. Like I still try to watch what I'm eating, but yeah, yeah. we're a lot more slack about it. So I'm glad to be getting back rolling so I can get back on my strict low carb. Yeah, we're and not far from Houston right now. We're yeah. cutting across the I-10 and I think uh, we'll be cutting up the 59 towards Mississippi and uh, we're it's just near Atlanta where we're delivering. So yeah. I think weather's going to be pretty gloomy the whole way. I think so too. I, I, I've, from what I've heard and seen other guys posting online that it's pretty gloomy uh, in the southeast right now. So hey, we'll go it's see. Not it's not ice and snow, so that's yeah. a good thing. <laughs> it's not Wyoming. That's right. That's right. Although you said that didn't look like Wyoming was getting too bad right now. Just cold yeah. from what I've seen. Yeah. So. I'm, I'm also curious how this uh, with the double axle is going to handle in the wind like in Wyoming. Yeah. If it's a little more Well, sturdy. if it's too windy, we pull over. Yeah. I mean, if there's but, wind advisories for small, and but yeah. But I've heard, uh, again, other friends that have the double axles or even the lift axles, they say, when it's real windy, they'll go ahead and put that axle down just because it makes it more stable and yeah. planted on the ground. Yeah. So. I'm just excited because it's a new adventure, new things, new, uh, you know, things to learn yeah, and yeah. processes. So yeah, very cool. cool. I'm gonna finish making my coffee, get do my pre-trip and get on the road so I can drive this bad boy. <laughs> Catch up with you guys later. Wednesday. 
Happy hump day. Oh, what you doing? She's trying to get my chopper. Look at this work of art. Oh my gosh. <laughs> we Look are back that. on the low carb keto train. And I made us chocolate <laughs> BLTs for dinner. We want to jump on and end this vlog before we ate dinner. Yeah. Man, we got our load delivered. And we got another one lined up, picking up tomorrow. That is awesome. Yeah. So it's not great miles, but you know, you know, way to start the week out. And we're yeah. going to a decent area. So who knows? We, you know, we still may get something over the weekend. I hope so. Our motto right now is just run and get that money because we were off for a month, no, getting months. that month and a half, 45 days. 45 days, yeah from our last load yep. to this yep. one we just did. So yep. it feels good to be running again. It does. Oh my gosh, the truck drives like a dream. Last night when I did my shift or yesterday last night, that was like the first time I drove it for my a full, it was about 10 hours I drove, yeah. did my shift yesterday and- uh, Sleeping in the back was pretty nice. It's a yeah. lot smoother. Yeah. The we, shifting of it, um, she was in some traffic and stuff and in the old truck, you would be laying in bed and rocking back and forth <laughs> every single gear and yeah. this thing's a lot smoother. Mm -hmm. you, you, you still rock a little, but it's like, not like, boom, boom, you know, it's it's really smooth. It's smooth, I like it. it's comfortable, it's so much more quieter up front. There's not all the wind noise we had with the M2. Oh gosh, yeah, yeah. Which is, I mean, you still have road noise, obviously, but not like we had in the M2. It's a lot, a lot quieter up there. And it is a lot quieter. A lot more solid. <laughs> yeah, smoother ride, yeah. you know, uh, better, better build quality. Yeah. We went to go start our generator tonight and the generator started, but then we were getting ready to turn on the rooftop air conditioner because it was, it's a little warm here in uh, Alabama. In Alabama, yeah. <clears throat> but um, it wouldn't start. The generator started, <laughs> the air conditioner wouldn't start. But I think when we were uh, camping out in Waco that when I turned on the shore power, it tripped a breaker. On the generator. On the generator, so I had to crawl under there, just push the little button and, and everything works, so. Works, yeah, because we were using the air conditioner when we were we had it plugged into shore power, so we knew yeah. the AC worked. Yeah, big thank you to Patrick, because I was not even thinking of, <laughs> like I was down under looking at the transfer switch and breakers on the on the sleeper. I wasn't even thinking of looking at the, the breaker on the generator, yeah, so. And that's what it was. That's what it was. E nice. At least it was an easy fix. It wasn't something complicated where we had to take it in and be down a day or two. Yeah, for yeah, yeah. Yeah. Most AC. things I can fix myself. Yeah. That, that's... Even even with, uh, you know, talking it out with somebody, sometimes you kind of get thing, ideas or things that you forgot to check or... That's like one of the great things that I love about expediting too. I know we always talk about certain things, but just the, the friends that we've made and acquaintances oh, that yeah. we can, you know, ask a question about, or they can call us or text us and ask us, you know, if we have an issue, maybe somebody else has encountered it, you know, you have multiple people you can talk to to the, kind of work the, it out. The networking that we've accomplished in expediting has been a huge, huge to our success. Oh yeah, yeah. Without networking, you're not going, yeah. you're not going to do too great. You'll, yeah. you'll skim by, but you know, if you're not networking and really building the, those contacts and relationships and friends and acquaintances and all that, just the people you can reach out to and pick your brain and be that person that people can reach out to to pick your brain. And <laughs> yeah, yeah, we made a lot of good friends since we've been out here. Speaking of friends, acquaintances, what's up with all the new subscribers? Hello! Wow. Golly, we wow. put our truck tour video out and like the subscribers just skyrocketed. <laughs> yeah, so we've had welcome like Welcome everybody who's uh, new. A whole new thousand <laughs> subscribers in the past. Four days. Four days, wow, yeah. Wow, that's yeah. crazy. So yeah. welcome. To Welcome to our, our journey. <laughs> to our adventure. This yeah. is this is yeah. our life, you know. Yeah, if you're new. A lot, lot of a lot of folks were like, well, why don't you guys do tractor trailer? What oh, yeah. what do you what can you haul in that thing? And you know, it's all kinds of different stuff. Uh, this is expediting. It's it's a division of trucking. It's there's yeah. LTL, there's flatbed, there's reefer, and there's expediting, yeah. you know. So keep following along. We do vlogs, we do info videos, info, we do it all. We do You'll DIYs, <laughs> we do yeah. cooking, cooking, <laughs> keto cooking. And yeah, yeah. Yeah. For those who don't know, she's lost like 80 pounds uh, since she started her keto journey. Yeah. I haven't lost anything. I think <laughs> 10 pounds, 10 pounds. I think yeah, I lost 10 like pounds. 10 pounds. You've but... been hoving around 10 pounds, but yeah. we, 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 between the truck 
getting the new truck when we were been doing all this for the last 45 days we've yeah. been we've been slacking a bit on yeah, the yeah, on the yeah, low yeah, carb yeah. so we're getting back on it and yeah but i just wanted to say welcome to welcome. all the new subscribers welcome. yeah thank you to all of our og subscribers too and everybody who watched that video send us your positive uh, yeah, feedback yeah, on it yeah. we really appreciate it we're glad y'all love it because we love it we love it <laughs> we love it we're gonna end this one here we're gonna end it here we'll catch the next one tell you where our next load's going and yeah see if we can't get a weekend run yeah glad to be running again yeah all right thank you guys as always for watching and subscribing and until our next video peace love and expediting what do you think? What do you think? Are you happy with the new truck? I Cousin, know you got. <gasps> what are you doing over there? Oh, well, he's like, I'm just chilling, Daddy. Let's see what that boy's doing. He said, I'm sleeping. <laughs> I'm sleeping. Well, I got these new blankets for the when we got the new truck, and they love them. They're barefoot dreams. Yeah. If anybody knows about those? They know they're some soft blankets. Yeah, I even <laughs> use that. All right.